So Bernard, this is something that uh, everybody disliked. The, the Kurds decided that they were going to uh, have a vote to become independent. Um, you know, huge majority was in favor. Everybody has condemned it, including the United States, which has been the staunchest ally of the Kurds. Why is it a good idea? This is so sad, frankly, and such a miscalculation. America and France, we have a people there who is our natural ally, who proposes to build a true democracy. It would be, or it will be, the second democracy in the area. And we are shy, and we say don't, and we support this failed state, this no state, which is Iraq. And we embolden Turkey, Iran, and Iraq to take f um, strong steps against this little uh, uh, Kurdistan. It is, frankly, a shame. And for the West, it is a huge mistake. And I was in Erbil day before yesterday. I was there. I was one of the observ international observers from, for this referendum, which, by the way, was a good referendum, uh, uh, according to international standards. It was a fair vote. And from its side, it is so impossible to explain. The situation of the Kurds today some, somehow reminds me of Israel in 1948. Seven million people besieged by 160 millions of enemy, of big empires, of rogue states. Iran, as far as I know, is still not a democracy. Turkey is less and less a democracy, the Turkey of Erdogan, and no one supports them. This loneliness of the Kurds is frankly for me and for any Democrats who listen to us should be heartbreaking.